We're checking out this 2023 Chevy Tahoe Patrol Supervisor's vehicle. So up front, we've got Enforce Interior Light Barn Dual Color. Six tri-color M-Powers on the grill. M-Powers under the mirror. SL Runners on the running board recessed in with our custom-made jig. M-Powers in the rear side window. In the back, eight mod spoiler, amber arrow override, white scene. Our standard taillight LED bulb upgrade with reverse function still. And then we have our parking lights tied in. All of our lights are now synced. License plate lights in tricolor white override. With the hatch open, four inch M powers up top. Oh look, it's almost like product placement. Get your mugs at 1075vehicles.com. This one was customized specific for the department. Options available, reach out to your sales team to help. So in the back of the vehicle, compartment light on with the link system. We've got the Lund loft system for some weapon storage. And then we have the Troy cargo mount floor. All of our electronics are mounted in here. So their radio chassis, the blueprint controller, all that stuff is easily serviceable now. So it just lifts up, gives you plenty of access and storage for it. And then we have their existing radio mounted to the side there for a remote hit if they're gonna run an incident out the back. So up front, we've got our Havis docking station on our Hint Weston mount. We have the Troy 18 inch console with their two radios, their blueprint controller, cup holders, and then storage pocket for pens and stuff like that. We've got a custom made bracket on the back for their e-ticket printer. And then we've recessed their radio speakers up to the headliner. It keeps it nice and clean and serviceable. And then you can see the interior light bar and the sound off dome light. So we're looking at our drive response mode. So our link module is tied into the OBD2 reader gives us all of our signals for the vehicle without having to splice into the electrical system. So things like park, reverse, turn signals, uh, hatch scene, all that stuff's done. That way, you know, if the vehicle has to go back to the dealer, you don't have to worry about them blaming the upfitter on anything. So one of the things that we do with our park system and whatnot is we slow the pattern down to help uh, reduce distracted driving. We shut our white flashing off and we, as we said, slow the pattern down. So you can see in the interior light bar, more aggressive pattern, headlight flashers enabled, white flashing in all of our lights around the truck, and that all automatically shuts off along with your Park Hill siren, so that way if you pull up to a scene with your siren on, you don't blast everybody's eardrums out. So we're gonna put the car back in park and then show you the command feature. So one of the other features that they wanted, because it is the supervisor's vehicle, um, they wanted a green command feature, so we've added green modules into the grill lights, the corner modules of the interior light bar and we're doing our um, aura pattern our grill lights and our ones on the rear hatch that you'll see the same underneath our mirror lights are actually doing a cruise feature our hatch lights that we're doing warning are also green incident command lights so when they're running an incident they can see that the vehicle is marked off for green as green is used in new jersey for incident command and then just off with the switch and that's all programmed through blueprint so you can adjust it as needed thanks for checking out this week's build showcase if you have any question about any of the products that you see in this video please feel free to reach out to us we'd love to help you out with your next vehicle